Hi there, Claudine. And according to the bills, those 6,700 fans will be selected based on seniority of the season ticket holders who opted in to hang on to their tickets in the event that something like this should happen. But securing what should be the hottest ticket in town is just the first step in all of this. Once they secure those tickets, they'll have to show up at the stadium and be tested with a negative result. And fans have to pay the $63 cost of the test. The state has partnered with a private company to conduct the rapid tests right on site a day or two prior to the game, which will be either on January 9th or 10th. Bioreference will be conducting tests uh, in the two days prior to the event uh, for 13 hours each day um, in the parking lots, drive through testing, um, and those results will all be back before game day. On game day, uh, fans will have to show evidence of a negative test. Once inside the stadium, fans will be required to wear a mask at all times uh, and adhere to the strict social distancing protocols. Fans who refuse to comply with these protocols will be removed from the stadium. And even though they'll be there in limited numbers, uh, we will feel and uh, definitely soak in their support at this game. The bills say about 13,000 season ticket holders had opted in to hang on to their, so that means there will be only enough tickets to accommodate about half of them at the first playoff game. Fans allowed in, by the way, we're told, will be a mix of season ticket holders who are sweet holders and those who usually sit in the stadium bowl. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Dave, thank you. Erie County Executive Mark Polencar says county resources will not be used to test fans for the game and fans will have to pay $63 for that test. He spoke a little while ago about the plans to get all of the fans tested. Uh, this is a good plan that will ensure that every individual who attends the game uh, passes a traditional PCR test. As has been informed to me by the Buffalo Bills organization, uh, these are not your rapid tests that we normally use. These are normal swab tests that will then be driven from a, a swab site, testing site, uh, in Orchard Park that will be run by BioReference to BioReference's labs in New Jersey. Uh, these, uh, the first test will occur no earlier than 72 hours before the actual uh, game time. And when it comes to testing, staffing company Adeco USA let the cat out of the bag with this posting that it actually made yesterday. It's looking to hire people as soon as possible for $25 an hour to get and process samples from people who will be attending the game. If that's something you're interested in, you can apply at adecousa.com. And the Bills are pumped to know that fans will be there. Backup QB Matt Barkley was so excited he tweeted, See you in the playoffs, Bills Mafia, before the governor actually even made the announcement. From Dion Dawkins, yes, sir, we will see you all soon. And from Reed Ferguson, we did it. And we'll have much more live from Orchard Park coming up tonight at 6.